Guide to a Master's Degree in Data Analytics by Kat Kompies, Data Scientist, Ph.D. One of the most popular career paths for new data professionals is a role in data analytics. This booming profession is of growing importance in industries of all types, from government agencies to health insurance companies to mass market retailers, making it an especially promising area of big data to choose as a concentration. So what do data analysts do? Put simply, data analysts are the collectors and preliminary processors of all incoming datasets a company captures. This can involve storing all captured data, using statistical models to analyze this data, and translating the findings from this data to company leadership. This is inarguably a vitally important role for any business that is looking to maximize on data-driven insights to guide their practices, with the potential to impact strategic decisions related to marketing, operations, branding, and more. In short, data analysts are indispensable to any teams relying on big data. The first step toward pursuing a career in data analytics is obtaining your master's degree. This is for all intents and purposes a prerequisite to enter the field in a competitive position, instantly asserting that you have the skills and insights needed to handle a data scientist's complex responsibilities. Most students who pursue master's in data analytics degrees come from a background in computer science, calculus, or statistics, though there is no formal requirement for your bachelor's degree. However, it is crucial to build fluency in a programming language such as Python or Java as well as core competencies in calculus and advanced mathematics before taking on the advanced coursework of a master's program. If you are ready to take the next steps toward pursuing a master's degree in data analytics and are specifically interested in in in-person educational opportunities, this guide will tell you everything you need to know about how to choose the right program for you. For information about online master's degree programs, take a look at our guide here. In this guide Step 1 Select a Career Trajectory Step 2 Research Location and Housing Availability Step 3 Compare Costs with Online Options Step 4 Determine Timeline Step 5 Analyze Curriculum and Admissions Process Step 6 Review Schools Offering a Master's in Data Analytics Steps to Choosing an On-Campus Master's in Data Analytics Program Choosing an On-Campus Master's Degree in Data Analytics isn't drastically different from an online program. For most programs, you'll be expected to have a fundamental understanding of statistics, at least undergraduate level knowledge, and likely need to have some experience with SQL along with other analytical tools, e.g., SPSS, SAS, Power BI. Granted, Certain master's degree in data analytics programs may introduce you to analytical software that is commonly used within the business world. Moreover, depending on how employers classify their data analytics employees, larger enterprises and government entities may have data analyst I, two, three designations, each with increasing levels of technical and statistical requirements. You may be expected to know R, Python, and machine learning. Usually, hardcore statistical programming and developing predictive models are reserved for data scientists and machine learning engineers. Nonetheless, analytics degrees at the master's level are increasingly conflating data science and data analytics. Data scientists are indeed analysts, but they possess an in-depth knowledge of math, statistics a great deal of programming knowledge and application, as well as business domain expertise. This point leads us to the first step in the degree program decision process. Step 1. Select a career trajectory as your ideal day toiling away with analyzing a specific business problem, developing a hypothesis, data collection, cleaning, pre-processing, exploratory data analysis and building predictive analytics models? Do you enjoy math, statistics, and codifying the solution to a specific business problem by translating it into R or Python? Note, 
For predictive models that will be launched into a larger software production framework, it's likely you'll be using Python, for now.